Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Wednesday, happy Facebook Live night. Uh, welcome to uh, C2C Stamping. I'm Melissa Thomas and I'm gonna make sure that everybody is checked in online. Um, so I'm gonna pull this up on my laptop so that I can see us. And um, yeah, if you're here, say hello, post. Uh, love to, love to see you. All right, let's see. There we are. Okay, good. All right. So let me um, flip us around and let's get to it, okay? Let's flip us around and let's get to it. Uh-oh. All right. I got some fun mail in the day today. I got some fun mail. So, check this out. Isn't this adorable? I got a really cute card from um, uh, my upline. Um, so she sends a card when you're in the top 10. This is like my upline's upline. Um, and it's using that beautiful, um, oh goodness, what's it called? Oh dear. The one that says sending a text instead of a, sending a card instead of a text. Anyway, so I thought that was really sweet. And then um, I got this beautiful card today in the mail too from my upline. So I thought I would share some spring um, happiness for you guys. You can check those out. So today we're going to play with the stamp set. Easter Friends. I posted about this earlier. So if you're not following me on um, Instagram, check it out. And um, yeah, we'd love to um, have you following me over there. I wanted to... Um, so I'm not seeing any comments, but um, I know that I um, allowed... Uh, Facebook to do stars and if you send stars then they're like monetizing them but they're also giving away free stars right now um, so like you can still comment with stars but yet they're they don't cost you anything which is nice um, so if you see that or you have a question about that let me know um, I think that this is interesting um, celebrate International Women's Day hmm. I can send 50 stars. I don't know how this works. Um, hmm. mm, okay, so they are monetizing it. So it looks like it's like a dollar for 75 stars, which is interesting. Um, but I don't know what this looks like, so anyway. Um, but if you're here, hello. Hey, Lynn. Welcome. All right. So we're going to play a little with Easter Friends. So Easter Friends is my March card class. And I'll put the link above and down below in a little bit. Um, but you can actually, I think I should be able to actually pull it up here. March card class. So if you want to RSVP for the March card class after we play a little bit with the bunnies and the ducky. Um, I'll put a little link here, and hopefully there, so you can RSVP for this month. So these are the cards we're going to make, and I think I've got, I think I did everything I needed to do. Yeah, we're going to make one of each of these. So this is the first one, and it features this cute little duck. And so we're going to, um, we're gonna stamp him, and I know, shocking, we're gonna fussy cut him out. So I'm gonna show you how this one's made. So with this one, you've got the embossing folder, and it just flips back, and so you, um, you have a regular, you know, normal card, but you're just gonna fold that front, it's scored at the front, and you're just gonna fold it back. And so, make sure we can like see what we need to see and not see what we don't want to see all right so i've got my bone folder and i'm just gonna get my bone folder in here and then we're going to run that through the um embossing folder and that's going to do that 
Um, then the other pieces of pretty pattern paper that go with this are a piece from the horizon. So on the horizon paper, this is what's being featured with the beautiful mountains um, in the paper pumpkin. And that deadline is tomorrow for paper pumpkin. Um, so if you're not getting paper pumpkin this month and you love all of the mountains and scenery pieces in that paper, um, you should definitely get this month's kit. Plus it includes an extra stamp set because it's the ninth anniversary of paper pumpkin. So um, tomorrow's the deadline to get paper pumpkin. We definitely want to get it this month because it's really, really cool. All right. So let me, we're going to just put a little bit of some adhesive back behind here. Oh, I should probably run this through the embossing folder first though. Hold on. Ooh. Let's see. All right, so it's the Greenery um, Mini embossing folders, and it's two of them, right? So it has the kind of um, vine looking piece and then it's got this piece. The mini machine is on sale this month for $48. So if you don't have a machine and you're wanting to, you know, make some really beautiful things, um, I would highly encourage you to get the mini machine. I think it's a great deal. And at $48, you can't beat that. All right, so all I did was just ran it on that piece so that when we fold it back, you know, we've got that piece all embossed. And then we're gonna glue this piece here. Super cute. All right, nice. All right, now that looks good. We kind of push that down. Okay, and then we're gonna take our little duck and I'm going to stamp him. And we're gonna stamp him in memento, hopefully. It doesn't look like my memento ink came home from retreat. <laughs> Poop. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't think it's anywhere else. Uh-oh. Well, that's a shame. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to stamp him in. <laughs> let's go with early espresso. All right. Lynn, great price for the card class that I'm doing this month or for this cute set? Or the $48 probably for the mini machine. Yes, that is a great price. Um, now I know what you're talking about. Sorry, I missed the boat on that. Okay, so I'm going to color just a little bit of him with the pumpkin pie. Um, blends, and I'm going to do um, a little bit of the dark. Now, normally I would use memento ink so that it doesn't bleed. I'll just be really careful on this. I'm just trying to make his nose. Hi, Linda, welcome. So glad you're here. Thanks for joining. So for those of you who might have missed it, we had, um, I'm hosting a couple of craft retreats this month. And the one this week um, was here in Dripping Springs. It was pretty local. And then the one, um, that was like last week. And then the one that's coming up is gonna actually be in Charleston. 
uh, on Isle of Palms, which will be fun. So, all right, so I'm gonna fussy cut him out. You know how much I love fuzzy cutting. <laughs> but it's actually pretty easy to cut out. So remember when you fussy cut something, you keep your scissors straight and you just move the paper for the most part. So that's easy. So I like stamping the duck on the Simply Marvelous paper. This is the paper that we um, had for celebration. And because I think it kind of adds some color to him without having to like do a lot of work, which is nice. So that's good. All right, so we've got our little guy. So the other piece that we're featuring is also from On the Horizon. And these pieces were actually part of one sheet. So they actually, there's like, you can get four of them out of one sheet of six by six. And what's cool is that they um, have a lot of variety, like the tops and the bottoms. There's lakes and mountains and rivers and fields. And, and so it's neat because you can get a lot of different looks out of the same sheet of paper. And it goes really far when you cut it in, in quarters. So I really do like that on the horizon paper. And I hope you get the paper pumpkin. I think you would be very sad if you didn't. I'll just say that. All right. Oh, and the back is marbled. So he'd be a pretty um, psychedelic um, ducky if we did the marble. <laughs> the back. All right. So we're going to turn this over. And we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive there. Left and right. Try to center this as best I can. All right. And then we're going to center this on here. So I'm kind of holding it up and saying, okay, I want adhesive on, you know, this half of it. <laughs> so and I'll put pretty good adhesion on the back because I know that this piece is going to get um, a little more stress because it's going to be, you know, the part that's holding the whole card together. So put that on there. And then we've got our little duck. And he's just gonna go on with some little mini dimensionals. So we're gonna grab some minis. I can put a couple um, various parts of him. He's super cute. His little feet can float off there. But doesn't he look like he's like waddling through a little field, right? And you can tell my ducks look a little different just because of the different pieces of the marble paper. One's a little paler and one's got a little more color, but he looks super cute. So shaded spruce, no, evening evergreen. Um, hey, Melissa, welcome. Um, it's evening evergreen, which is a color I really do like. I have enjoyed I've enjoyed Evening Evergreen. One of the those two newer greens that we have. So, although Shaded Spruce and Evening Evergreen are pretty similar, um, but they're not they're not quite the same. I think Evening Evergreen has a bit more blue tones in it. So, okay, so I'm gonna do a giveaway because I haven't done a giveaway in a while. So, um, if you comment today you'll be entered to win a set of cards, a um, set of these cards. So you'll get a bunny and a ducky, and I will mail those to you. I'll reach out to you. And then I have two stamp sets to give away. Um, so in January and February, um, I ran a deal where if you placed an order during the month, I would enter to win the stamp set Calming Camellia. So Calming Camellia was, will this card be part of the class? So Lynn, I don't think it will be part of the class, but I will include a PDF for you to make it. Um, I want to do some fresh designs for the um, class. And so, um, yay, I'm so glad, Linda. Um, so I don't think so, but I could always be convinced otherwise. So let me know. Um, so Calming Camellia, so the first set of Calming Camellia for January goes to Billy. 
Yay! So thank you, Billy's, for being such a dedicated Paper Pumpkin subscriber. Um, I just took all of the people who had purchased, um, actually this one might be February, and in the month of February, and Billy was the winner for February. And then for the month of January, it is, drum roll, Veronica. So yay, Veronica. So I'll be mailing these out to you guys. Thank you, Veronica, um, for placing a, a substantial order during a celebration. I greatly appreciate it. So um, yay. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I know sometimes Veronica watches the replays. Um, I don't think Billy does, but I'll message her. All right, so this is card number one. So I'm gonna show you another fun card. And I'll include the PDF directions for this one too, but I'll do some fresh designs for sure. So this is the second card. Super cute. So, and then I'll tell you while I'm getting all my stuff out for this one. So I have a new hostess code for this month. Um, and it is 2VS2EAXP. I know that sometimes that's hard to read, so let me kind of make it bolder. So, if you place an order on the hostess code this month, you will get access to two things. You'll get access to the March tutorials, um, which I have a tutorial bundle that I participate in with other demonstrators, and there are 37 adorable projects in there. Um, this was actually um, cased from the tutorial in February, so. Um, and then, so they're really cute projects. And then the other thing is, I have two really fun things to give away, and so I'll be doing a drawing for those two things, and they're pretty awesome. So the first thing I'm giving away is a bundle with the Here Together stamp set and the dies and the paper. So that's one of the things I'll be giving away. So pretty awesome value. And then the other thing I'll be giving away is your very own Stamparatus, a brand new Stamparatus and a matching bag for the Stamparatus, which is super cute. So, um, so those are the two things I'll be giving away in the month of March. Um, and I'll make sure that whoever gets the Stamparatus doesn't, you know, already have one. Like, you know, I'll make sure that they want it. But yay, I'm so glad. Um, so I'm excited about that. So 2VS2EAXP, if you place an order this month, all right, I've got my cute little bunny stamp. Looks like the Velveteen Rabbit, right? All right, so this is a double Z fold and it features cinnamon cider and the hand penned paper and then mint macaron, um, which is really beautiful. So we will, there we go. All right, so there are lots of pieces to this one. There's a lot of gluing, but I'll put this guy, I'll put him over there just so we can see him. All right, so, like lots of pieces. All right, so you've got a basic card base that's been scored in half on the front, and so you're just gonna fold that back. Okay, that's easy, we can do that. And then, oh no, am I short on paper? Uh-oh. I don't think I have any more of this one. <laughs> well, all right. We will. You know, the other paper that looked really cute with this was the peach paper. Okay. So, it just doesn't go well with the mint macaron. Hmm. Huh. Oops. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I used a ton of this. This is actually a little add-on packet that I made. And I used a ton of this paper for the, um, the, the class I taught. And so now I'm wondering what paper I can use from this set that will match that has enough color. I think this one will be fine. We'll work it out. 
have it okay good I can figure it out all right so the back piece of this is just you know one size down and then one size down so that's easy we can get that rolling when are the giveaways classes don't count as a purchase right um thank you for the beautiful card oh yay um how do we buy stuff? Oh, that's a good question, Linda. Um, Linda, I will, in a minute, I will link to my store. But if you go to stampinup.com and you input this um, code, then it will give me credit. Um, and then I'll see it on my reports. But make sure you do that you have a contact allowed. If you do no contact, then I can't actually even see who you are. Um, so just, you know, FYI on that. Um, and what are the giveaways? So the giveaways, Lynn, I'll do them at the end of the month. So at the end of March. Um, and I know I've been kind of wondering if I should be counting classes as a purchase or not. Um, and I think that I'm going to for when I do like big monthly giveaways. It just makes sense to me, you know, to do that. All right, so I'm gonna put this piece here and then I'm just gonna cut a piece real quick to go on here. So it's gonna be two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So me two and a quarter by three and three quarters. All right. So let's do that. So two and a quarter by three and three quarters. All right. Good. So we can put that there. All right. Excellent. All right, so that one's gonna go here on this one. So now we've kind of got our base piece made, right? So that's like a normal Z fold, right? Like that, okay? We're gonna leave this one without DSP on it. It's not gonna be seen much, so it's not really necessary. And then um, we're gonna build the inside piece. So on the inside piece, you have a piece that's scored at two and three quarters, five and a half. The whole thing is eight and three quarters. So it's gonna create almost like a two smaller panels and a square. The square is actually what goes on the front. So it goes here. And then this will open up like this, okay? So, the way that we'll do this is we'll go ahead and put our pieces down. So we have a piece that's a little bit, you know, we just want a quarter in, inch in on that one. And the, is the mini paper, oh, no, the mini paper trimmer is not still available. The mini paper trimmer was a special deal when people signed on like a year or two ago, and then they offered it for a brief moment to demonstrators because we all said we really want it and we like it, and I find it very convenient to grab it out and chop a little piece of paper. Okay, that's crooked, but I still have a moment to fix it. <laughs> okay, that needs to be, we're gonna go with good enough on that one. Okay, so, now, the way that this goes together, right, is I'm going to glue half of this, but all of this back panel, right? So I'm going to place the back panel, but while I'm looking at the front panel, which seems crazy, but I promise, because I want it kind of centered, like left and right and top and bottom. And that looks pretty good. So... All right, so that's just the back panel. And now I want this one done. So I'm gonna glue, you know, just this, this piece of it. And again, same like with the deck card, this piece is probably gonna hold, you know, most of the stress of the panel. So 
you know, we'll, we'll make sure it's glued well. I know. Sorry, Lynn. Um, if I ever decide to get rid of it, I'll let you know. Um, if I put it in a BOGO, uh, I'll do another BOGO in the summer for sure. Okay. So somehow this, this kit lost its little white pieces. So I need to trim like two little white pieces. Um, and so they're just going to go again, a quarter inch in. So if this is three, then that's going to be two and three quarters by three. So it's not quite square. It looks square, but it's not. for my bunny and then the interior piece is going to be two and a quarter by three so there we go now we have a little piece to we could stamp a sentiment this set does have Really cute. Check out eBay for the trimmer. Ooh, that's a good idea, Stephanie. <laughs> um, this set does have a really cute set of sentiments. My friend sending warm and happy wishes this spring. May your days blossom with joy and happiness. Um, I was talking with someone because she was like, well, I don't know that I need Easter cards. And I said, well, I said, even if you don't want to do Easter cards, you can make these into baby cards like these would be adorable baby shower cards you could make them into you know birthday cards like kids birthday cards um I think that these are these animals are really sweet and I think they would work for a lot of different occasions it doesn't have to be Easter okay so we've got our big bunny and we um as I mentioned apparently don't have memento which is a shame I'm gonna have to buy another one. It's okay. You know, things get lost at retreat. Things happen. Wild things happen. All right, but I'm cleaning them off a little bit. <sighs> okay. So, it's a very cute bunny though. All right, and he has to go pretty low to fit. So just FYI. And you can stamp some other things around him. You could also choose not to color him in at all. I mean, he's got really nice shading. Um, and I think I don't want to, I'm not going to tempt fate with my blend markers on this one. Um, but the colors I used, just so you guys know, is I used some of the new um, numbered ones. So there's like the 700 marker. These are like those skin tone blends. So I used like a light cinnamon cider and then I used like a thousand and a 700 just to give him a little bit of depth and color. And so we've got a nice range of kind of browns and um, so you can get, you know, a really, you can get a really cute bunny. So um, I love bunnies. I think they're adorable. All right. And then we'll put a little bow on him. Even if he doesn't get colored, he'll still get a bow. And someone will still love him. All right, and I used the shimmery, the shimmery ribbon, the shimmery gold. This stuff is pretty. And it actually ties nice little bows. So. Yeah, so this last weekend at retreat, we had quite a few people. This next weekend will be a little bit smaller. And so I did like some add-on classes, but at the next one, I'm not doing them because, well, we're going to be at the beach. We're doing other things. We're doing yoga. We're going to have other kinds of fun. All right, glue dot. I like using glue dots for bows. Like it really is the easiest way to put a bow on and make sure it does exactly what you want it to do. So look at him, he's super cute. All right, so we've got our bunny and we've got our duckies and a 
little bit of extra paper. Look at that. I even, even survived with a little extra piece. So I don't know which bunny I like better. Hey, Terry. Thanks for joining. If I like, I think I, I do like the colored bunny. He's really cute. Um, and adding the cinnamon cider is helpful because that's the brown that's in the, um, you know, that's in the card base. Um, and I had a lot of cinnamon cider left. Cinnamon cider is leaving us. Um, and so remember the five in colors that we got two years ago will be gone as of May 1 or April 30th. So if you have cinnamon cider or magenta madness or what's the other one? Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight, or Just Jade. If you have those, you want to get a re-inker while you're at it. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you stock up if you've got, you know, card stock, if it's a color you really love. Um, be careful because they're going to be gone. So, oh, Debbie, nice to see you. Yay. Hey, Debbie, we're going to do a demonstrator only shoebox swap in Austin. Um, probably in May, so I'll send you a message, but we'd love to have you come. So I know you're still a demo here locally. So um, yeah, we've got lots of fun things going on and lots of great things. Um, so if you're interested in coming to the March monthly card class, um, please scroll up through the comments. Um, you'll see the link to it um, up above. If you um, would like to place an order, um, this is the hostess code for this month, 2VS2EAXP. You can go to my Stampin' Up or stampinup.com and place an order. And, um, and then this month I'm giving away a Stamparatus and a case, and I'm also giving away an all together um, bundle with the paper, the beautiful black and white paper. So, and then congratulations to Veronica and Billy for winning the calming camellias that I gave away for January and February. So yay, um, it's been a great month, um, great couple of months, and I'm looking forward to more crafty fun. The only other thing I'll mention is I'm doing a Dutch dinner uh, in April, do you know if Misty Moonlight re is available yet? It was probably on like back order, unorderable, but I will check really quick and see. Because I know we were having issues with um, re and things like that. So let's see. Misty Moonlight. It is on the list of low inventory. So that means it's in. So there you go. Um, but yes, so the Dutch dinner will be, I'm playing with the windmill and the tulip sweets, making a sampler and eating some delicious, um, Dutch food. So if you're interested in that event, it's local, it's here. Um, my monthly card class, you can either do by zoom, by mail, um, or you can come in person. So, um, thanks y'all. Thanks for coming. Um, I will rotate us up just for a quick second so I can say hi to everybody. If you didn't see me before. Oh, it says I can't rotate my phone. Oh, I'm upside down. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, hey again. Um, that was fun. And, uh, what a fun ending to the night. Um, thanks for coming. Um, it was great to see everybody and I hope you have a great week. Um, I'll be posting pictures from the Charleston retreat and, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's going to be a great week. Bye y'all. See you later. Thanks for coming. If you're here from YouTube, Make sure you subscribe. And if you're not on my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Bye, guys. See you later. See you Friday, Stephanie.